Hi everyone, I'm Chris, welcome back to the channel. I want to do a video today that's a little bit different to the norm, it's not going to take very long. Just a quick little look at this thing here. This is something, if you're, if you're in your airsoft, especially if you're into like milsim type things, you probably recognise one of these. This is a M2000 strobe made by ACR Electronics in the US. Now, again, if you're in airsoft, you probably a lot of the time you see guys with these mounted on the back of their helmets, you know, infantry special forces types. But one of the other primary uses for these for these things is uh, as a distress marker. Now, um, uh, they're quite often used by or carried, I should say, by uh, aircrew, fast jet, probably helicopters as well. I, I couldn't speak to that. I know um, the, the the reason I wanted to show you this quickly this evening is that. Uh, I used to be, a couple of years back, I was stationed up at RAF Lossiemouth where they fly the Tornado GR4 uh, fast jet aircraft and I was uh, responsible for the sort of the issuing and the maintenance on all the survival pyrotechnics, well that was part of my job anyway, all the distress flares that all the pilots carried on uh, in their jackets and stuff in the event they, uh, they had to ditch or pull the yellow and black and bang out as they say. Now uh, that involved interacting a lot with the survival equipment trade, I'm an armourer, and uh, those squippers as we call them, they used to manage these things, they used to pack up the, one of these in along with the life raft and the, the you know, the pistol and the axe and the, the water and, you know, survival rations in the, in the pilot's survival pack. And uh, as people in the military do, someone decided one day to, to shine it, turn it on and shine it in my eyes, which was very funny. Um, and you'll see why that was a problem uh, in a minute because even though it was daylight it wasn't far away when he did it and it was, it's pretty impressive so yeah we're just going to take this thing outside now just to show you how much power you can get simply from two AA batteries so let's have a look so we've moved outside there's only some light on me right now because I'm just standing near, it, near one of the windows into the house uh, got my strobe here now this uh, the, the strobes they can pick up or they can emit sorry uh, infrared light, which is what this sort of black um, hood cover over the, over the front is for. But if we lift that up and move it out of the way, you'll be able to see the, uh, the light emitting element there. Uh, it works on a sort of system where it, it it blinks flashes of light as a signal. You can also move it like so, move that green shield, and that deploys a blue filter. But like I said, I'm going to show you the white just to give a demonstration of how effective these things are. So right now the uh, camera's just pointing down the you know the garden here um, I'm gonna if I step out of the way you can't exactly see much on the camera there so what I'm gonna do is walk walk down um, just to give you an idea this is the furthest distance I can show you right now might do another video and I'll go like out into the countryside and demonstrate the sort of range on this thing I'm gonna take a quick walk down just to give you a, a rough idea from a, from a sh shorter distance So uh, I looked back at the footage that I took last night and it turns out that my camera here is god awful at taking footage at night time and you can only really see probably about 20-25% of the actual light that the strobe here emits. So it's, yeah, the, the, the footage you've watched isn't really a good representative of how bright these things are if you're actually looking at it in person with your eyes. Yeah, I, I can about apologise for that. Um, I'll, I'll try it again in a second here indoors and to show you. Now, now the reason I think these things are quite sort of impressive and why I wanted to make a little video about it is when you see it in person and you realise how much light these things can emit and you take into account the fact it's a very very lightweight titanium. It's literally a couple hundred grams, maybe 300 grams at the most. It runs on very commonly available easy to find batteries. I believe they're waterproof. I, I wouldn't quote me on that one um, but I should imagine they are given that they're for survival purposes they're not they're not cheap this is actually my one this belongs to my brother he, he picked it up on ebay and he was quite lucky that he managed to get a good deal on it 
and that, that eBay is probably the best place if you do want a proper one of these made by ACR in the States you're going to probably want to go on eBay and have a browse around but overall if you can get a good deal on one if you um, if you want one just because it looks cool um, or you want to play jokes on your friends who don't have any sort of light uh, affected epilepsy or they don't have fits or anything like that be careful um, but yeah uh, they, like I say it runs on very easy to obtain batteries it's lightweight it's very it's, they're quite durable I've seen these things dropped a few times you've, you've got your hood there for IR strobes flip that aside for white light move the green cover there and you've got your blue light so a lot of different options in a very small package it's not a large item you know it's about the size of a packet of cigarettes or you know it's, it's smaller than a magazine a 30 round 556 magazine that is so yeah interesting little item fun to play with but it, I'll, I'll give it another go now while I'm indoors in the, in the light and I'll just switch the strobe on with the white light function we'll see if it maybe shows up a bit better on the camera so there we go it makes a very 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 slight click noise each time it flashes I'm, I'm not sure whether it's an LED that's inside there what sort of bulb it is it's messing my eyes up right now that's for sure this is in you know this is a this is a bright daylit room I've got you know the curtains open and the, the blinds drawn and all that stuff so if it's kicking out this much light in the daytime you can imagine how far you can see it if someone was uh, strobing one of these at night. As always guys, thanks for watching the videos, appreciate it, cheers for the subs, I'll see you next time.